you know that today is peace day and we have decided to put on a peace march now why a peace march so we have been having an upsurge of crime and violence in our community and that is affecting our school community and our activities that we want to do here sometimes parents are afraid to have their children out for extracurricular activities sometimes we even call them and they might say to us that they can't come right now because they are unable to cross the borders to come to us so bearing those things in mind we said we said to ourselves this cannot continue we might be a small school but we still want to let our voices be heard so we decided to go out there in our communities and to say to our communities that the crime and violence must stop we want peace to ensure that our children have the Jamaica that they deserve so they're able to go across the borders freely. If they need to be here for an extended period of time after school, they are able to do so. Also that they are able to go out and socialize in their community. Because some parents say that they have to keep them inside just to keep them safe. And that was not the Jamaica that I grew up in. So I don't want my children to grow up in that sort of Jamaica. I might not be from this community, but I am from this community because my kids live here. So whatever affects them, affects me as an individual as your guidance counselor and also as a school we are affected by whatever is happening in the community so even though we are small we want our voices to be heard we want the community here that we are saying that we want peace we are not here to point fingers on anybody at all but we are saying that we want peace and how do we hope to achieve that that each of us as individual take responsibility so we are saying to everybody be the peace if you want it no. tomorrow no tomorrow no, no. Most of our students come from the, the inner city communities here where the crime and the violence is, is high um, and it affects us, it has been affecting us for a while now. So we thought it fit for us to walk through the communities to let our parents, our supporters, our community members know that our children want a chance to, to, to live, to be all that they can be. We plan to make it an annual event, a symbolic event to let our parents know, our community members know that we're just tired of the crime and the violence and we just want a chance to, to teach these students because we have some very brilliant students who can be the next Prime Minister, the next lawyer, doctor if they're given a chance. We